We are back with Don DeVries Sokol. And Don, you're going to show us how to doodle. And so many of us doodle without even knowing about it. Right. But you've got some really great tips on how to start doodling. Yeah, because you may look at the blank page and kind of be, you know, fumbling, not really sure where yeah, to start. Yeah, lost in it. Um, so basically, um, you can you can start by dividing your page into sections mm -hmm. and just doing some wavy lines and then, you know, filling those in as you go. Um, you can also do some shapes that you like, shapes that are your favorite. Do you want to jump in with your pen? Because I, I can tell I you're have. ready to go. I love the doodle. Um, and then um, you can also repetitively go over lines and just continuously refine your lines, refine your shapes. Um, join those, right, join those circles together. Um, you can play an album or a movie and listen to that in the background and kind of pull out quotes or different things from the movie or the album that really kind of, you know, talk to you and resonate with yeah, you. Yeah, or even just kind of let the moment of the movie or the moment of the music speak to you. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I and I do happen to do a lot of quotes and lettering in my in my doodling. So, so lettering can hand. be part of doodling. Oh, exactly. Not just yeah. like shapes and yeah, dimension. Yeah, you can make your, you can make your your letters, you know, like really fun, and you don't have to really know how to draw to do that. You know, just think about what the letter's gonna look like in the mm -hmm. shape, and just, you know, going over it, repeating, you know, oh, just yes. repetitively is um, really the key. Are there any rules to doodling? No, no rules. It's all about what you want it to be. It's all about your hand putting ink or color on the paper and making your own. So literally anybody can doodle. Yeah, literally anyone. Anytime, anywhere. anywhere. Yes, that's the great thing about it. It's very mobile. Now I noticed that I'm using this awesome marker. Are mm -hmm. there certain tools that we need to have? Oh, well you can just use, you can even use a ballpoint pen uh. in just a regular white, you know, sketchbook. Mm -hmm. But there are different things that you can use. You can use colored pencils and you can use, um, you know, markers. You can use paint markers. There are all kinds of things out on the market that you can, you know, try and see what you like. Right. Why is doodling such a great creative outlet? Um, I think it's because it just, it gets you started. It gets you going um, with creating. Um, it's your own hand. You are kind of the master of the page and you know, the master of whatever you're doodling. And it's just, um, it's easy. Anyone can do it. You also, if you're listening to a lecture and you're doodling, you tend to retain more of that um, information than you would if really? you were just standing, sitting there listening, yes. So it's it's great for the mind. And, um, you know, it really opens a lot of creative doors, I think. Thank you so much for hanging with me. You're so fun. <laughs> sure, thanks. If you want more information on Dawn, her books, or even her workshops, just go to her website.